Hello, this is Kate from dailytarotgirl.com and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this week's reading, I'm using the Tarot of Why. This is my newest tarot deck and I actually just did an unboxing video with this deck. So if you're interested in seeing more of these cards, you can check out that video. And I'm just gonna draw three cards with the intention that it's going to give us kind of an overview, a bird's eye view of the week ahead. Okay, so let's begin with the first card, which is going to represent Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. Okay, so here we have the Five of Pentacles. And it's interesting this card has come up again because when I was doing the unboxing video, I did a sample reading and this is the card that came up in the sample reading. So here it is again. And what I'm getting with this card is the beginning of the week. For the most part, I feel like we may be asking ourselves why certain things aren't working out or why certain things feel harder than they maybe need to feel. So have you ever like worked on like a project or you you know you're trying to make something happen, you're trying to do something and it just feels like it's so much more difficult than it needs to be. Or you, you think to yourself like this shouldn't be that hard. And you may look around and see other people doing this exact thing and you're like how how why is this so hard for me? So that is what I'm getting with this card is that it may feel at the beginning of your of the week that your efforts and the things that you're trying to do feel it feel it may feel like it's not really going anywhere. And I feel like I feel like I want to turn over the other cards to see to see what the other cards have to say about this. So as you move into the week, as we get to Wednesday and Thursday, we have the Emperor. This is Major Arcana card number four. And the Emperor is about really getting comfortable with yourself and not being afraid to not only make your own rules and develop your own vision for how you want things to be, but to actually have the courage and the strength to live by your own rules. So it's one thing to say, well, this is important to me and I want this, blah, blah, blah. But it's quite another thing to actually walk your talk and live according to your principles and your beliefs and your values and actually take action on pursuing the things that are important to you and the things that you want to pursue. So the middle, middle of the week is about getting in touch with your own power and getting in touch with that sense of almost fearlessness, um, that sense of confidence and, and courage. And I'm just going to look at this card a little bit closer. There's all kinds of interesting symbols and things on this card. Yeah, okay. It's almost like, it's almost like we need to take ourselves and our lives a little bit more seriously. And I'm usually saying the opposite. <laughs> I, I usually feel like we should take things less seriously, but this week I think we need to, to take ourselves and our abilities and our talents more serious than we have in the past. Now, as we get to the end of the week, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, ooh, okay, we have three of pentacles. Now, this is interesting. I'm gonna look at this guy a little bit closer. This guy looks like some sort of bodybuilder. It almost looks like he's standing on a yoga mat, but it looks like he's been working out his upper body and not his lower body at all. And I remember when I used to work in a gym, there's so many guys that were like that. They just like had these huge upper bodies, but they did nothing for their legs and they never did cardio. <laughs> it's really weird. Uh, okay, so what does the Three of Pentacles mean for us? So traditionally, the Three of Pentacles is about, well, it's about work that is meaningful. It's about being in the flow of things, being in the right place at the right time, and being able to really utilize your 
specific skill set and your abilities and your talents and, and be able being able to put those things to work. And I feel like at the beginning of the week when we were talking about the five of pentacles and I said that it will feel like your efforts are, you know, you're, you're trying harder than you think you should or things just feel more difficult. And I think part of it is that you need to understand and be I guess, honest with yourself about what your true values are and what your skill set is and what you're good at. And I think that when you come from that place, when you, when you understand yourself and you get to know yourself and you choose to work on things and to do things um, in a way that utilizes your, your gifts and your talents and your abilities, things are going to feel easier. It's like, have you ever tried to do something um, that required you to do to, to use skills and um, abilities that you don't really have. Like, for example, if I were to try to be a bank manager right now, like, oh, that would feel so difficult to me. Like, I just don't have the skills that are necessary for that. Or if I was to, you know, be, be an actress on a stage play or something like that, you know, those are just, that's a, a level of skill and talent and ability or not a level, but a certain type of skill, talent, ability that I simply don't have. And it it's like cramming a, what do they say, cramming a square peg into a round hole. It's kind of like that. And so whenever things aren't going well and it feels like things are just way harder than they need to be, it's sometimes an indication that you're trying to do something that maybe you're just not meant to do, or you're trying to be someone that you're not, uh, or succeed at something that Honestly, deep down, that's not part of your plan. That's not really what you want to succeed at. All right, so I'm just going to zoom out here. I'm going to look at all three cards together, and I'm just looking for any repeating patterns. And I see there's number three, number four, number five. So that's kind of interesting. It's almost like, I don't know what that means. Maybe I should ask you what you think that means. It's like we're counting backwards as we're, yeah, it is. It's like we're counting backwards as we move through the week. Five, four, three. And I feel like this is almost like the need to simplify things. You might be getting ahead of yourself this week. If you have all kinds of lofty goals and things you're wanting to achieve, see if you can simplify things and get back to the basics, get back to your core values, your core interests, your core skills, and kind of reacquaint yourself with those things. Um, I'm just going to look and see if there's anything else I want to mention. I feel like the Emperor really stands out in this reading. I mean, he's in the center, he's a major arcana card, he has a very strong presence. In fact, both him and the Three of Pentacles have a strong presence. And I feel like this is about really establishing your sense of who you are this week, having two feet firmly planted on the ground and having a good sense of yourself. And I think any kind of difficulties, any troubles are going to really just disintegrate in the face of of you becoming centered within yourself and getting reacquainted about who you are, why you're here, what's important to you, and and you know what you're good at, what you're naturally talented at. So I feel like that's kind of the message of this week. So I hope you found this reading helpful. Uh, for this reading, I used the Tarot of Why, and you can find more stuff about learning to read tarot on my website, dailytarotgirl.com. And if you subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel, I do these weekly forecast readings every week. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I invite you to share your impressions of this reading, your ideas in the comment section below, and I hope you have a wonderful week.